All right, our next comedian lives in a gated community. Let's bring to the stage Nick Reed. Nick, are you ready? Thank you, Flappers. How are we doing? John, it's a gentrified neighborhood. <laughs> Let's give it up for uh, the rest of the comedians, John. Thank you. Um, I've been doing yoga a lot lately, uh, which is apparently exercise that white people like to do. And uh, I like yoga. Um, I'm not a fan of the yoga countdown, which is which lets you know how much time you have left in a given pose. Because the yoga countdown isn't a true measure of time. Because you like to have a conversation with you during this countdown. <laughs> so you should be like, okay class, uh, we're gonna be in mountain pose, we're at the three. Remember, uh, Saturday is my kombucha seminar. <laughs> at eight o'clock, not at nine o'clock, like, Previously, we'll leave at 8 o'clock on Saturday for the Kombucha Seminar. Follow me on Instagram. We're at 2. But yoga's cool because you have this option at all times to get into child's pose if things get too intense. People are judging you, but it's, it's there for you. And you know, I, I wish you could apply this in real life. I was getting in a fight with my girlfriend, uh, who I made up for this joke. I was like, excuse me, baby. I'm gonna get down to the floor work a few things out. Sometimes in yoga, you end up in this position where, uh, I don't think this is a real pose, but you're facing one direction. Everybody else is facing the opposite direction. <laughs> making direct eye contact with you. And I'm a perfectionist and an asshole. So I like to give him a real confident stare back. Like, you guys are all doing it wrong. So. Uh, my yoga instructor, she likes to let us know in the beginning of the class that she's going to touch us. Which is why I go. Like, okay class, this is going to be a very hands-on class today. If anyone doesn't feel comfortable being touched, give me a little wave. I'm just looking around like, who the fuck, who doesn't want to be touched? By her, I mean, so I can judge them. I was at the local uh, marijuana dispensary. That's hilarious. Uh, they have some pretty obscure names of weed now. They had one called Green Crack Extreme. Because Green Crack just wasn't extreme enough. Uh, they had another one called Chernobyl. Which, oddly enough, tastes like sherbet. I'm like, yeah. Where's the Chernobyl Extreme? Uh, so I tried this thing out where I didn't have sex or masturbate for 30 days. Which might warrant a round of applause, I don't know. Um, I think this allowed me to watch porn objectively. <laughs> I was watching a porn, and we're like, I don't know, three quarters of the way through it, still going through character development, and I haven't sex yet. I'm like, what is this, Game of Thrones? <laughs> it, it was, it was Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm done with that. Decided that wasn't the life for me. Back on the old sex. <laughs> and I had a threesome recently with, <laughs> with two girls. Because if it was you two guys, I don't know if I'd be telling all of you about this. <laughs> and it was great, like they really, you know, they were really into each other. They got each other's anatomy, you know, it's the same. And then they cuddled after, I'm like, this is great. I guess I'll go play video games now. My parents are here, by the way. 
is that we talk about sex. Oh, yeah. I realize my, my humor is very self-deprecating. I'm talking about yoga, and three sums. I was like, oh, I feel so bad for him. I heard about this new study on NPR about how babies are now crying a certain way to match, well, they've been doing this, but to match the dialect of their parents. So like, uh, and this is true because I heard about an NPR. Uh, <laughs> just take it as the truth. Uh, so French babies are like, they mm, wait. <laughs> and Chinese babies actually, they, they cry in different dialects because they're, you know, they're smart. <laughs> and babies from the valley, they're just like, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you're in this situation where somebody in a leadership position, say a coach, boss, sexual partner, they, they'll say, uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I'm not sure if they've ever looked up the definition of insanity, because that's not what it means. I think insanity is when you make words up. I don't know. Um, I was at the doctor's office recently, and uh, when you're sitting in the doctor's office, sitting in the patient room, they always they give you the courtesy knock to let you know they're coming in. And uh, my doctor just gave me a physical, and things got rather intimate. And then he knocked, I felt weird about it, I'm like, dude, we're past that. <laughs> I think we have like a thing going on, I don't know if you realized it. Anyway, that is my time. Thank you. Wow, 30 days.